Problems based on reminders. First, side reading. Negative reminder concept. Negative reminder concept. Negative reminder does not exist in mathematics. It is an illusionary concept to solve reminder problems in less time. Suppose, 13 I am dividing by 7. 13 when divided by 7, 7 ones are 7, positive reminder is 6. 7 ones are 7, positive reminder is 6. Negative reminder, 7 twos are 14, negative reminder is minus 1. Depending upon the merit of the question, I will use positive reminder or I will use negative reminder. Again I am repeating, 7 ones are 7, Positive reminder is 6. 7 twos are 14. Negative reminder is minus 1. Now, if you get a negative reminder, add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder. If you get a negative reminder, add with the denominator, add with the denominator to get the positive reminder. If you get the negative reminder, add it with the denominator. If you get the positive reminder, subtract it from the denominator. If you get the positive reminder, if you get the positive reminder, subtract it from denominator. Subtract it from denominator to get the negative reminder. This you should know, otherwise reminder problems might be difficult. Once after we solve a lot of problems, you will come to know when to use a positive reminder and when to use a negative reminder. If you get a negative reminder, add it with a denominator. If you get a positive reminder, subtract it from the denominator. One more example. 20 divided by 9. 9 twos are 18. Positive reminder is 2. Positive reminder is 2. Negative reminder. 9 threes are 27, negative reminder is minus 7, 9 minus 7 is 2, 2 minus 7 is 9 is minus 7. I hope the definition of, right, I, the definition of negative reminder is very clear. Negative reminder is an illusionary concept to save our time. This is the first concept. This is concept 1. Next, concept 2. Concept 2. Now, these two concepts, if you understand, we will start with basic. Slowly, we will get into the next level. Second concept. Now, listen carefully. Suppose if I take 20. 20 is a number. I am dividing it by 7. 7 twos are 14. Positive reminder is 6. Suppose if I take a negative reminder, 7 threes are 21, negative reminder is minus 1. Let me take an another number, 40, I will divide it by 7, 7 fives are 35, positive reminder is 5, negative reminder, 7 six are 42, negative reminder is minus 2. Suppose if I perform an addition operation. 20 plus 40 by 7. Listen carefully to this first example. 20 plus 40 by 7. I can solve this problem in three methods. Method 1. 20 plus 40 is 60. 60 divided by 7. 7 eights are 56. Reminder is 4. This is one method. Method 2. Adding and dividing it by 7. Method 2. Do it separately. If I do it separately, 7 to positive reminder, 
7 2s are 14, remainder is 6. 7 5s are 35, remainder is 5. 6 plus 5 11, 11 divided by 7. 7 1s are 7, positive remainder is 4. You divide individually. 7 2s are 14, 6. 7 5s are 35, 5. When you divide a number by 7, you will not get a remainder 11. So further divide. This is method 2. By using positive reminder. Method 3. By using negative reminder. 7 3s are 21. Negative reminder is minus 1. 7 6s are 42. Negative reminder is minus 2 divided by 7. Minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. If you get a negative reminder, add it with the denominator. What is 7 minus 3? 4. If you individually do and divide by 7. If you do total and divide by 7. If you do negative reminders, in all the three cases, you will get the same answer. In all the three cases, you will get the same answer. This you should know. Always reminders are congruent under addition, subtraction, multiplication. And if it is multiplication, it will also be congruent under powers. It will also be congruent under powers. This is the first introductory question. Now, side heading, please write down problems. Problems problems. We will start from basic. Slowly we will get into the intermediate level. Finally, advanced level. Problems. First one. Reminder 1. 37 into 39 divided by 41. 37 into 39 divided by 41. Now, please don't multiply 37 and 39 and divide by 41. If you do individually, 41 ones are 41. What is the negative reminder? Minus 4. 41 ones are 41. What is the negative reminder? Minus 2. Minus 4 into minus 2. 8. 8 is less than 41. So answer is 8. Answer is 8. I hope it is clear. Answer is 8. Answer is 8. This is the first one. This is the first one. Second one. Second question. Listen carefully. 61 into 63 into 64 divided by 65. 61 into 63 into 64 divided by 65. Please do not multiply 61, 63, 64 divided by 65. 65 ones are 65 minus 4. 65 ones are 65 minus 2. 65 ones are 65 minus 1. You got the negative reminder minus 8. Negative reminder is minus 8. Positive reminder will be add it with denominator 57. Add it with denominator 57. I hope it is clear. Introductory question. I hope it is clear, right? Slowly I will increase the level of difficulty. Third one. Reagan, you got minus 8. If you get a negative reminder, add it with the denominator. 65 minus 8 is 57. Second one. Third question. Please write down. Third question. No time wasters in the class. We will do very, very good quality questions in our class. Reminder 1. 1998 into 1999 into 2000 divided by 7. 98, 1999, 2000 divided by 7. You cannot multiply 1998, 1999, 2000 very fast. So we will do it individually. If I do individually, 7 2s are, 7 2s are 14, 59, 7 8s are 56, 38, remainder is 3. Again I am repeating, 7 2s are 14, 59, 7 8s are 56, 38, 7 5s are 35, 3. If this is 3, this is 1 more than this number, this will be 4. This is 
one more than this number, this will be 5. 12 fives are 60. If you divide a number by 7, you will not get 60. Further divide it. 60 divided by 7. 7 eights are 56. What is the remainder? 4. What is the remainder? 4. I hope it is clear. Download our revolutionary app for free AMC.